Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We will continue with our SQL Accounting System training and today we will talk about Bank Reconciliation. Let's go to SQL, go to General Ledger. This is where your Bank Reconciliation is located. Now, before GSD, I always mention the main purpose for you to purchase an accounting system is actually Bank Reconciliation. Why? Because this is the only way for you to know the exact available amount of cash at bank. Even you call to bank or check your bank info online may not be as accurate as bank reconciliation because there's unpresented check and uncredited check. Meaning there may be check that you have given to somebody a few months ago and they have not cleared the check or bank in. Now, when you want to issue a check and they bank in on the same day and the amount in your bank balance is not sufficient enough, then you may have problems. So, do your bank reconciliations consistently and timely. So, let's go to bank reconciliation. Now, unlike other transactions where you can so-called backdate the transactions, for bank reconciliation, you should do it every month accordingly and it need to start from the system conversion date month so let's say your system conversion date start from november so we start to do in november so how to do that basically is very simple now we have done the november so let's say we want to do for december so what we do we go to new okay select the bank statement date normally is the last day of the month so let's say we do for december so we select the account let's say it's maybank this part is a bit tricky so normally if you do it timely then it should untake the display period that means you display all the check in up or you can actually select the date range let's say i want to start from 1st january until the last day of the month you want to do the bank account so show untake transactions meaning that you only want to show those which are untake that means have not recon and take the second one show current recon transactions meaning if you already recon for the same month it will remain showing because this is for checking purpose just do like this then you do apply so you can see all the payment and receive from all others module like customer payment supplier payment cash book payment voucher or official receipt all will display over here as long as it's related to the same bank so now what we do as normal we will just take those checks that have been cleared according to the actual bank statement the hard copy so let's say this check have been cleared you, you just take over here okay so the only difference sql with others accounting system the main part is over here bank statement bank closing how we do this we just need to key in the bank statement closing that means when you receive the bank statement there is a closing amount the balance amount at the end of the page so you just type in accordingly let's say it's 9889 for example so now so when you try to take so when you try to take you can notice that this amount system calculate bank closing will be changed same go to out of balance will be changed you see so how ask you also difference with others is this part now when you refer back to your actual bank statement the first column is the check date then you have check number check amount and there is a final column called balance so it's actually accumulate balance meaning that let's say last month you have a balance of 1000 ringgit so there's a check clear of 100 ringgit customer bank into you so that balance will increase by 100 that means become 1100 and there's a check out and have been cleared 
200 ringgit. So the next balance will be 900. So this system calculate bank closing will be exactly the same amount for the same row which the check is clear. Meaning this is a checking for you. Unlike certain accounting system where you need to finish the whole bank reconciliation, then only you realize whether you are correct or wrong. Imagine you have 30 pages of bank record. Every page you have 30 transactions on, or, or 30 checks have been cleared. So 30 multiplied by 30, you have 900 checks to need to reconcile. And at the end, you find out there's 3 cents missing. So you need to untick everything and redo. So for SQL, you will not face this kind of problem because you just need to take the check that have been cleared and check this amount. Oh, it's not same with the balance, meaning that you did it wrongly. Untick it, look for another check and so on. Let's say there is a bank statement or bank charges and you have forgot to key in. What you need to do is just save it. Go to key in the transaction, go back to the bank reconciliation. We are doing the December one, you just click edit, then you can just continue. It's as simple as this. So, of course, when you finish the whole reconciliations, the out of balance must be zero. If not zero, then it's totally wrong. But you do not need to wait until the end because, as when you do the recon, this is a checking for you. And of course, after finish, you can refer back to the bank reconciliation report by clicking the preview button. I hope this will explain how bank recon works. Remember, bank reconciliation is one of the most important transactions in any accounting system. This is where you know the exact amount for your balance at bank. Not calling the bank, not refer to your online banking. It's bank reconciliation. So, if you do have time, do drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies and you can get all the latest updates for SQL accounting system and also GST over here. And also, you might want to refer to previous SQL tutorial video. Just go to my website. It's syntax.com.my. Click on the YouTube and you have all the previous tutorial video. And that's all for today. And once, once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.